perfectionism is actually a form of protection. Hey, that was pretty smooth, right? If you're new here, my name is Emily and this is She's ADH Different. This is a space where I'm sharing my authentic journey to self-discovery within my own ADHD. I was diagnosed last September of 2022 and I'm still navigating the ups and downs of being a late diagnosee. It's completely opened up my eyes to so many ways that ADHD has profoundly shaped my life. What we're gonna talk about today is perfectionism and how it can be causing procrastination. Now, anyone that's heard of ADHD knows that ADHD and procrastination, they go hand in hand. But where does perfectionism come into play? The brains of ADHDers are so much more fueled by interest than importance. If you're working on something that you're really interested in, that perfectionism really comes into play and puts that extra pressure on you to execute to the highest degree. What's inspiring this video today is actually a little blast from the past. Yesterday I had self-medicated and was feeling inspired to create for the first time in a very long time. I was going through all of my old art supplies and it just brought back so many memories. I found this box that I've literally had for 17 years. Legitimately, like this goddess sticker is from one of my friend's roller skating parties when we were in like second grade. So this is a little time capsule into my life. Opening it up, there's like all these different things that I've collected over the years. And I was like, damn, I used to be a crafty bitch. Like super creative, I would make dream catchers, origami, all of these things with my hands. And I never had that self judgment of like needing to create something that was top tier because I was younger and I was just more free and hadn't yet had all of these pressures of society weighing on me, making me not only judge myself, but feel judged as well. I've come to realize that I am a professional perfectionist about the stuff that I care about. What that means for me is being so specific about executing everything to the highest level and being really, really satisfied with the end product that I know I put in 100% effort, 100% discretion to make it the thing that I could be the most proud of. Kind of a lot of pressure, right? Within that, I've realized that during my darkest times, which has honestly been the accumulation of the last three years with my undiagnosed ADHD, my depression, my anxiety, during these dark times, I was so far removed from being inspired by anything in my life, going through such a hard time that I had no motivation and no inspiration to create whatsoever, which makes sense. If you're depressed, you're probably already struggling with balancing everyday life, let alone creating a masterpiece, right? I know deep down inside that when I create is when I connect with myself the most. Rejection, sensitivity, dysphoria could very well connect to the perfectionist streak that runs in us ADHDers as well. I think for a lot of us ADHDers, perfectionism is actually a form of protection. So in our minds, we're like, if I demand perfection from myself, then I'm going to protect myself from rejection and judgment. So we're gonna have some fun today. What we're gonna do is create freely, no judgment, no pressure, just following our instincts, see where our minds take us to fully tap into that creative side and let ourselves start to heal through creation. I have a couple things here. My sketchbook, which has multi-purpose paper, so I can use this for drawing, watercoloring, watercoloring, watercoloring? Let's go with that. Watercoloring and all kinds of other mixed media materials. I've got watercolor brushes, and then I have my beloved bag of Sharpies and Copic markers. We got a fresh ass page. The whole idea here is just to create really freely, to use the watercolor to flow into different shapes and colors, whatever really is drawing you, and then to fill that in with any kind of Sharpie marker just to create more details, have fun, and see what your mind can come up with. This is really interesting working with watercolor because I can already kind of feel myself resisting the unstructured aspect of it. I'm just gonna keep challenging myself to push through and keep creating without thinking about it, without judging myself, without any kind of expectations. When you have ADHD, I feel like trying to trace back the origin of your perfectionism is almost like an impossible task. Is it stemming from your desire to fit in with your peers to work that much harder to achieve the same level of success in the academic system? Is it coming from your desire to impress your parents and show them that you can do something all the way through? When I really sit with my perfectionism and think about it, I think it comes from my desire to really excel at something. With a lot of things 
things in my life coming with just that extra step of difficulty or the obstacle of motivation. If it's something that I don't care about, I'm not gonna put in 100% effort and that's just how I am. You know, I wish that I could be one of those people that does everything 100%. That's you, hats off to you because yo girl does not have the energy for that. All right, so when you're done with your watercolor, just let it chill out for a little bit, dry. Take your marker, your pen, whatever you decide you wanna use and just fill in all kinds of little shapes. Let your mind take you wherever you wanna go, no judgment. I have by no means beat perfectionism. This is something that I'm gonna be battling probably for the rest of my life with the things that I really care about. But the cool thing is when you do give yourself the space and the moments to really let go, take away that judgment and just be in the moment with yourself, some pretty crazy cool things can happen. I would say that is how I entered into this realm of creating She's ADH Different. I had this epiphany of, well, why don't I start sharing my journey on my own ADHD discovery road with other people out there who are going through the same thing. It actually took me about two months to make my very first video. I had bought all the equipment and then didn't touch it for two months because I was intimidated in getting started because I had that fear of not doing a good enough job and doing justice to my vision. And then one day I was like, I just gotta start it. I'm not gonna learn by sitting here and ruminating over it. I'm gonna learn by doing. It's not gonna be perfect and that's okay because this is all part of the learning process and it's true to myself. So if there's anything that you, in your gut, in your instinct, you know you wanna do, you wanna pursue, that fear of rejection or judgment is holding you back, my best advice for you would be to just start. You, more than anyone else, knows what fuels you. Follow that instinct, follow that gut feeling, and just take the first couple steps to say yes to your dreams, no to perfectionism. Whatever it leads to is what's meant for you. It doesn't have to be boxed up pretty and perfect. All it has to be is true to you, and that's what really matters. Okay, the doodle slash brain dump sesh is all done. This is what I came up with. It is not perfect. It's not even really that pretty. This is so contrary to my usual style of art, which is a lot more precise, fine lines. Not gonna lie, I felt some major resistance in just letting go, letting whatever shapes come from my hand. When I started filling in with Sharpie, I definitely had some moments of pause where I didn't really like what was coming out. And I was like, why am I judging my brain dump? Like there's no goal to this. There's no pressure to this. It's just a means of creating, letting go of the judgment that's coming from ourselves, coming from the fear of rejection, and just using creativity to open up the doors to yourself again and let go of some of that judgment to just be free. I have to say, this little creative exercise got me so jazzed to re-enter my crafty bitch era. Let's bring it back, creating with our hands, not judging ourselves for what comes out, and just being true to ourselves in the moment. If you're on TikTok, I posted the video there as well. And I would love for you to duet this and show me your very own creation when you said, fuck perfectionism. You just went for it in the moment and you created something that was totally you. From one weird brain to another, happy and perfect creating. <laughs>